Okay, I'm going to get us started. So this is Ed Crow. Thanks for coming on today. Really appreciate it. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We usually talk about Medicare stuff, um, you know, various Medicare things. But today we're going to talk about a life insurance product. It's the uh, Prosperity Family Freedom Term. Uh, a couple things before we get started for those who haven't been on with us before. We do webinars every Wednesday and Thursday. I mean, with a with a few exceptions here and there, but usually we do them Wednesdays and Thursdays, always at one o'clock. Uh, anybody that attends, we do record the webinar, and we will send you a copy of the recording. So if something happens uh, during the webinar, and you have to miss some of it. Or for future reference, if you want to watch one of our webinars but you can't make it at the time, uh, just register for it, and you'll get the recording. So even if you can't watch, uh, you can watch the recording later on. So everybody who registers gets it. If you have questions, send them into the question box uh, at the webinar there, uh, you know, at the bottom, and uh, I will uh, gladly try to answer those at the end for you. Uh, this product is pretty new, so there are some things I may not be able to answer yet, but um, I think I'll cover most of it for you today. Let me make sure everybody can see the screen. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, so we're going to talk about the prosperity freedom term. Uh, talk a little bit about prosperity, uh, the family freedom term product, the product itself, just the basics on the product. Uh, underwriting, there is an agent bonus for 2022. We'll talk about that. Product availability, where it's available, where it isn't. Uh, commissions, and then just a couple other brief programs like Prosperity, for example, came out with a final expense product very recently. I'll, I'm going to just mention that briefly. We'll do a webinar on that down the road. Um, and a couple other quick things at the end. Oh, I forgot to mention too, my webinars usually run 15 to 20 minutes tops. So what you can usually anticipate when you join these is 15 or 20 minutes. Once in a while we'll do a longer one, but not usually. So for those not familiar with Prosperity, um, Prosperity is uh, an overriding group that provides multiple lines of products, life insurance, annuity, Medicare supplements, uh, other supplemental policies as well. For example, we just recently rolled out the Prosperity Med Sup in a number of states, which if you haven't looked at it, is super competitive in the states that it's in, uh, usually first in most states on Plan GNN. Um, but Prosperity has an annuity product. Um, they have other ancillary lines of business too. They offer most of their products either through SBLI, that's Savings Bank Life Insurance, or Shenandoah Life. Um, they do some through other um, companies, like uh, they have an annuity product that's offered through Nationwide. Um, they distribute the products through a, a, a bunch of channels, banks, IMOs, GAs. They have a worksite channel. So there's a fairly wide distribution. This product is proprietary, though, so it's only... You can only contract with this product through um, a few uplines, and not everybody can carry it, so you won't see it as widely distributed. Uh, distributed, so you'll see, you know, less agents being able to offer it as a result. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a, a made it, um, a minus AM best rated. That's hard for me to say. Okay, so we'll talk about the family freedom term product. So this is a simplified issue term. Uh, so it's a nomad. Uh, policy. That doesn't mean there aren't medical questions. There are. There's not an exam uh, on this term. So the idea is that you can get instant decision underwriting on this. So simplified issue, uh, term product, uh, issue ages is 18 to 75. I'm going to get more specific on that in a few minutes. Face amounts uh, range from 50 to 500,000. So again, non-med, so no no exam, no, no paramed to be done. Um, is, so it's a simplified app process, um, and everything with this product is done e-app. They have a very um, good online enrollment platform. It's the same one they use for all their products, so SUPS, uh, Final Expense, this product, all through the e-app. So you can do everything through e-enrollment uh, through this. There is not a paper app for this product. So most cases, um, most cases decisions are based on height, weight, Answers to health questions, so those who write final expense, you know, very similar to that. You just answer questions on an application. And then third-party info, what does that mean? Well, that means they do a drug pull and they pull an MIB. Um, when the person fills out the application, they're signing off on that, so they'll pull that information and they'll use that in information to make an instant decision on the policy. 
what's available as far as the term uh, lengths, well, there's you know, it's a standard term, level term, I should mention that. 10-year, 15, 20, 25, and 30-year terms uh, obviously depends on the age, um, and I'll go over that in a minute, but depends on the age to determine. So like, for example, a 70-year-old can't get a 30-year term, or I should say a 65-year-old, for example. Uh, policies are convertible to whole life regardless of health until either the 10th anniversary or the 75th birthday, whichever comes first. There's accelerated death benefit. They call them living benefits. I call them accelerated DB. So accelerated death benefits for terminal illness, critical illness, and chronic illness. Um, I didn't list the de details here, and I'm going to go and screw it up probably. The terminal is 100%. The critical and chronic is 25% per condition uh, on the accelerated DB. <clears throat> so 25% of the death benefit on critical and chronic illnesses per, per uh, diagnosis. There's an accidental rider. This is optional. If you want to, you pay for it. It's very little, but if you want to add the accidental rider, rider, it'll double the coverage up to an extra 250. Uh, there's other optional riders on the policy, so there's a waiver of premium. I mean, this platform, they really are calling this uh, a mortgage protection term product. I mean, you can sell it to anybody, but it's really geared towards quick issue and geared towards loan or mortgage protection. Um, but again, don't let that I know we hear that term a lot, but you can write this for anybody. But that's that's really how they're kind of positioning it. So as waiver premium, as children's uh, term, the children term policy is uh, you can either do five thousand, ten thousand, or fifteen thousand. Uh, it's a max of five children, um, and the children's term policy expires at age sixty-five if you add that for the children. So, I mean, just to go back for a minute, pretty straightforward product. I mean, it's mortgage protection term product, pretty straightforward. If you have questions, just ask them, and uh, I'll answer at the end for you. Um, but I think so far, probably pretty pretty standard stuff. Uh, there is an agent bonus. Um, the bonus is broken into four quarter qualification periods, so four quarters of 2022. Each period is measured separately. So when I'm talking about um, a bonus, they're kind of basing the bonus off each separate quarter. You have to have a minimum of 25,000 annual premium to qualify for it, and the bonus is 10% on top of whatever the normal commission is, 10% uh, bonus on the premium. So that runs through all of 2022, so that's a nice added feature. And you'll see the street commission on this product's really competitive. We have GA, MGA, SGA levels available as well, um, but you take that plus the 10% bonus, it, it pays pretty well. Availability. So again, it's eApp only. I know I've said that a lot, but you know, a lot of us, including myself, are used to paper. Uh, this is only through the the portal uh, eApp. Um, it's available in all states except the ones listed there. I won't read them through for you. Uh, New York is probably an obvious one. There's a couple I'm surprised by, um, but it is in every state except for those. So the terms uh, you can choose on this product, the 10-year terms available 18 to 75, 15-year 18 to 70, uh, then they'll start reducing it down. The 20-year 18 to 65, 25 is 18 to 60, and then the 30-year term is available to 18 to 55-year-olds. And then depending on the age, obviously that influences how much you can get. Um, so you can get 50,000, that's the minimum. You can get 50,000 to a max of 500,000, ages 18 to 45. Uh, 46 to 55, it's limited to 400,000. And, and then you can see 56 to 65 is 250, and 66 to 75 is 100. Um, because it's a simplified issue product, um, they have the caps on based on the age and how much you can get. But again, this is, an, uh, this is not a medical exam policy. There is a policy fee, it's $80, it is commissionable, um, so it's not, it's not excluded from the commission. Okay, so the application process is it's e-app only. This, they do say this needs to be face-to-face, -face, so that they are promoting this and positioning this as a face-to-face -face product, but it's only e-app, which can be done through a tablet, a uh, laptop. Um, the app will work on a phone as well. Um, it's called Aptical is what they use. Uh, I gave you the web address there. Uh, if you sign up with the product, 
for the product, obviously, if you did the contracting, we would, you know, you'd get all the instructions and how you go on the portal. You register, and it's very simple to use. Um, I was going to do a demonstration of it, but I mean, it's it's so straightforward that there's really not a lot to uh, not a lot to show, really. You just you choose the you put in the information, state, face, amount, age, um, and pretty much off you go. It is point of sale underwriting decision, so you get an instant decision when somebody applies for this product. Uh, here's the commission. So it's a, we're going to go with a street of 115 on this. What that you know that's competitive, I believe. But what's unique about it is it's 115 on the 10, 20, and 30 year term. So they're all 115. So I know with a lot of carriers, as we most of us probably know, you get less on a 10 or a 20. Well, this it's 115 across the board. There's a very small renewal of point. That's a point, point two five percent renewal uh, years two through five. There are agency levels available on this product. So, if you have an agency with sub producers, or if maybe you're just a very big producer in your own regard, on your own right, um, we can up that commission above street um, for those who qualify for something like that. If you just fill out our electronic contracting. And don't say anything. We'll put it at 115. If you're an agency or you know you're a big producer, you'd want to give us a call, uh, and we'll talk about it, and then we'll help you set the level that you uh, you know that we decide on for you. Quick note about this: it's getting confused with the Prosperity, their new product. They have another one called the Vista Final Expense. Um, so obviously, this is different. It's a term policy, but they do have the Vista Final Expense, which just came out as well. Um, 115th Street on that, and what's again unique about that is it's 115th Street on their final expense on their level, they're graded and they're modified. So it doesn't reduce the commission if somebody's graded or modified. And on that product at the street, it's 6.5% on the renewals years two through five. And they do have that small, I think it's 3% years six through 10 on the renewal. Of course, if somebody comes in and we put you at a higher level for GA, of course, the, the street would go up by five or 10 points or maybe higher depending on the agency and the production uh, and the renewal goes up proportionally as well. See how I'm doing on time here. I seem like I'm doing okay. So contracting is done online for this. We literally can just send you um, online contracting a link. It's, um, it's our contracting for multiple carriers, a lot of it, uh, Medicare carriers. And on this, you would just choose prosperity and submit it online for contracting. So as I mentioned, we record all of these webinars. Anybody who registered, we will send this to you. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to talk about something interesting. For those who are right final expense or have thought about it, um, Best Plan Pro, we're going to go over tomorrow. You know, that is a, a really unique system. It not only quotes, compares uh, plans, and it routes you to the online enrollment for all of the various final expense plans, but the biggest thing I like about it is when you put in health conditions or medications, it will immediately determine with all the carriers what they qualify for. So you don't have to go wasting time looking around. I know for years I wasted a lot of time. Say somebody had cancer eight years ago, and I remember I either could be lazy and just throw them in a, a GI final expense, or I could start pulling underwriting guides and apps and seeing if somebody will give them level. Well, Best Plan Pro does it for you immediately. So you just put in their information, and it tells you when it quotes everything. Like, I was surprised the person with cancer, there were actually two companies offering a level benefit for that person. So we're going to do that tomorrow at 1. I think it's a really cool product, and uh, we'll go over that. We uh, also have, just to mention, I, this has been popular lately, seminars. This is way off on a tangent, but we do have a T65 Medicare um, seminar program. I wrote sales, but it's actually a T65 Medicare seminar program that drives T65 seminars for our Medicare producers, and it'll get you 40 to 60 people per session. It's been very popular. We've rolled it out. It's worked really well. Um, so if you have interest in that, certainly let me know. That's all I got today. It was quick, uh, quick um, information on the webinar. I appreciate you attending. Let's see if we have any questions. Doesn't look like we have any. So no questions. Well, if you have any, certainly just give us a call, 203-796-5403. We'd be happy to talk to you about the, the Family Freedom product, if that's something you're interested in, or the Final Expense product, for that matter. Um, so give us a call. 
I appreciate you coming on today, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the webinar tomorrow. Thanks, and have a great day.